Hey guys, so you won't believe where I'm at right now, but uh, I gotta kind of confess something. Like I got a bit of a habit, and uh, so I went to my local crack house. And I'm gonna just just gonna say it, and uh, you know, uh, had to get me some of my shit. So, and then if you'd look, I also have my crack dealer. <laughs> It's an Irish pub called the Crack House because apparently Irish guys crack is like a good time. So it's like a good time house, but it's like a play on words because you guys know. I'm sure there's a couple of crackheads watching us right now. <laughs> I don't judge you. Live your life. Do what you got to do. Hey, but this place is pretty nice. Let me give you a little tour. Flip this camera around. Oh no. Sorry guys. All right. So <laughs> Sorry guys. I forgot to flip the freaking camera on its side and I just did a whole thing. So that clip's going to be on on this next freaking uh on this next upload. So uh yeah. Forgive me. I know some of you guys feel it's a little awkward to view shit like that, but I'm trying to remember to uh, look at this camera right here and then keep the phone at an angle. So this is the crack house. It's an Irish pub. Again, because apparently having a good crack is the way Irish say that you're having a good time or something like that. Man, this is freaking really nice freaking area. They got it cleaned up. They've taken good care of this fucking, this, this beach. There ain't no, there ain't a bunch of, I mean, there's a little bit of trash here and there, some bits and pieces, but this sand, this sand is like super fine. Almost like a powder. It's got a little bit of freaking rockage in it. But, Look at this water, guys. Fucking Malapasqua is nice. Last time I was here, it might have been during Yolanda, many years back after Yolanda, and like this place was kind of fucked up still. And uh, things were a little overpriced. Golly, all these boats. Uh, yeah. Fucking. Who would have thunk, right? Who would have thunk that this ugly fat fucker right here would be living his life in the Philippines <clears throat> with some adorable kids on some really nice islands having a beer, okay? Some of you guys know that uh, these Pilsons are well, foreigners kind of like them. Foreigners here, they they drink, uh, they usually, I'm not going to say all of them because some foreigners drink other things, but most foreigners I've met, they drink one of two things. They either drink a semiglite or a pilsen. And then there are some who like the harder beer, which is the red horse. Um, and I've only seen one guy who actually likes drinking Colt 45. That shit is fucking blah. But the crack house is also a dive shop, guys. So, like, they got their dive, their dive gear here, right? So they have their rentals, which I believe he said was like... One six one seven for the freaking dive. It's for the rental. Um, if you're not licensed, then uh, he said it's three thousand, right? But they also have like package deal. So like, if you want to get a package deal on uh, getting your certification for diving, they because it's a it's like a three or four day thing to get uh, fully certified. And then they throw in like your room and 
maybe some food, whatever. Haven't really asked him how much that that is, so I don't know. I might do that some sometime. All right, guys, this is getting a little long. I'm long-winded, so uh. I'll Hey guys, <sighs> just uh, just been chilling. No Imperador today. Only uh, GSM mojitos. So <sighs> I don't know where my juice is to my vape. So I'm gonna go get some cigarettes. Yes. Your guy needs some fucking nicotine in his life. Uh, oh, Donnie, that shit's gonna kill you. Uh, life's going to kill me. But, uh, you know, hope everyone's, uh, what's, what, uh, you know, I've lost track of all the days. Uh, I don't really need the use of a calendar anymore. Today is Thursday. Okay, today's Thursday. So I hope everyone's Thursday is freaking magnificent. Uh, we're gonna go to the Tendahan, which is a sorry sorry store or um, a little store on the side of the roads. A lot of you people, a lot of you guys know the term sorry sorry store in Cebuano. It's the Tendahan. So we're going to go to the Dendahan to get some cigarettes. So, give me a second, I gotta open a gate. So if you want, let's go on a little adventure. I'm gonna flip this camera around so you guys can see. This is like, the, this is gonna be the third gate that I've went through. I feel like I'm in some sort of fucking zoo. Malapasco is a extremely small, an extremely small island. So, this here, this is the fucking road. Like, I haven't, I haven't actually seen like a legit road. There's all these freaking little paths, and I haven't seen any vehicles. Like I said, it's a very small island, so everyone uses motorbikes. So, you know. Hi! 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 So, we're here. Asasi! Asasi! Ayo! Ayo! Asakaga! Sigurilio Pleo! Marlboro, Pua, Doaka Stick, Pleog. Pila? This is also. I saw. Salamat, ha? Oi, Asimung Oyab. What? Hey, guys. Welcome to my vlog. Look at her, huh? She says she's single, huh? No oyab. Oh my. Hey guys. Oi, dai. Asang posporo. Ang light. Ah, salamat. All right, guys. I'll get back back to you in a minute. Love you guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> I took a wrong turn. <laughs> it's so easy to get lost there. It's like a maze. Uh, I walked into someone's place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's what you get from a crazy Kano in the Philippines, huh? Just some fucking white boy walking through your place. <laughs> oh, shit. What am I doing? I'm enjoying life. That's what I'm doing. I don't know. Uh, like, if any of you guys have ever been here, spent any time here, like, you guys know that... Uh, this place is kind of like bittersweet. Like there's things about it you're like, oh fuck. And then there's things like you're like, I fucking love this place. And uh, for anyone who's thinking about coming, just uh, have an open mind, you know? 
uh, just go with the flow and uh, you know just enjoy what's what's fucking happening if you've lived here for an extended period of time like I have uh, you just kind of adapt to it <laughs> I'm still fucking buang huh and Cebuano for crazy so it's whatever all right guys uh, we're here at the beach you know hey look there's another foreigner yeah, with his beautiful wife and his beautiful kid man that kid is freaking really good looking I tell you what I have I have some good-looking kids myself and that kid that kid's gonna grow up to be a, a looker he should be happy this kid's gonna be well off with with the uh, with the good genes and uh, well financially stable all right guys um, I'll hit y'all up later okay I'm gonna go and hang out with some friends and drink a little bit enjoy the beach and uh, see see what happens you know take it easy guys I love you